guys want to grab like a pen and a paper or if you want to open your notes app on your phone and take some notes, please do. Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a what I eat in a day to build and maintain muscle video. Um, all my other what I eat in a day videos that I've done this past couple months are pretty much the same thing. Lately I've been trying to stick to a high protein diet. I hate using that word but that's really the only word that I can use in this situation. But if you guys watched my fitness update video that I filmed a few months back before we even moved into this house, I talked about how I was working out so much. I was progressing in my weightlifting and I was just not seeing the results that I should be seeing. And basically what I did is I actually started counting my macro. And the reason why I say macro is because I didn't want to fully dive into complete calorie counting because that is very, very restrictive and very stressful. And that was at the time that we were about to move. So I did not want to have added stress. So what I did was just take a little baby step and just started counting my protein macros so that I can make sure that I'm eating enough to build and maintain my muscle. And I did that for a few weeks and I realized that I was not eating enough protein at all and I thought I was eating enough while I was intuitively eating but I was not and so with that being said I had to find different ways to increase my protein intake because there's only so much red meat that you can eat and chicken and protein shakes so I really had to experiment and find like different ways to increase my protein rather than just having like three protein shakes a day and like 300 pounds of red meat, which is not the best. But with that being said, since I did increase my protein intake and make sure that I'm eating enough to at least maintain my muscle, I have seen amazing results, which I kind of known that I should have already done this, but that's the one thing about intuitively eating is that Yes, it's a great way to form a healthy relationship with food, but in terms of seeing the best results and results fast, 
it's not the best, best way. So just taking that little baby step and counting your protein macros rather than counting all your macros, which is just very stressful, I've already seen amazing results. So I definitely recommend doing that if you don't wanna jump right into full on calorie counting. So um, in today's video, I kinda just wanted to show you ways that I incorporate my protein and obviously what I eat so that you can get inspiration. But most of all, I kind of wanted to do a little like sit down, little voice over with graphics on the screen, kind of giving you my best tips to increase your protein and like my best protein hacks. So let's do that right now. So if you guys wanna grab like a pen and a paper or if you wanna open your notes app on your phone and take some notes, please do because these tips and hacks have been a lifesaver for me so that, again, I'm not drinking like 300 shakes a day. Okay, wait, before we get into it, let me just quickly talk about my breakfast. So for breakfast, I actually have been recently loving smoothie bowls. So if you guys watch my other What I Eat In A Day videos, then you know that I love smoothies. But I just recently started doing smoothie bowls, which are so fun and so yummy. So this morning, I call this smoothie bowl the Funky Monkey Smoothie Bowl. I've seen other recipes like this, but this this one is so yummy, but it's packed with so much protein and my other healthy macronutrients and micronutrients from the fruits and everything. But I had a plain waffle with that as well so that I can get some little bit more carbs. And I just discovered <laughs> dipping it, my plain waffle, into the smoothie bowl. I don't know if other people have done it before, but I feel like I discovered a new thing and it's probably the best thing I've ever had. It's kind of like if you have a soup with the bread and you dip the bread into the soup, but this is like a breakfast dessert way, do it. Please trust me on this. It is so good. I came to the kitchen so that I can show you guys, but what made it so yummy is PB2's peanut protein with Dutch cocoa plant powder and has 20 grams of complete protein. And this is so, so good. It tastes like chocolate peanut butter obviously but I definitely recommend this and they're actually sponsoring today's video which is so so exciting if you guys watch my other what I eat in a day videos and you know that I literally fangirled because I've been using PB2 since high school which is like a full circle moment for me so um, they have so many other different products PB2 is the original powdered peanut butter and it has way 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 less fat compared to jarred peanut butter but they have so many other products again if you guys watch my other what I eat in a day videos I showed you like my top three favorite products but this is a new favorite of mine especially for my smoothie bowls so definitely check out their website you can actually order any of their products from their website but they actually have have a store locator so that you can see um, the closest store that has PB2 products. All right, so now I wanna welcome you to Kyla's class. I know, super cheesy, but I wanna talk about my top five favorite tips and hacks to incorporate more protein into your diet. So starting off with number one, eat it with every meal and snack. And so this is something that you're gonna notice in today's What I Eat In A Day video, but also in my other What I Eat In A Day videos, is that I do try to incorporate protein into every single meal that I eat, even my snacks and even my desserts. So the reason why I recommend doing this is because the less protein you have in one meal only means you'll have more to make up later on, which is not the best. So it's just best to spread it throughout all your meals and snacks throughout the day. Okay, so the next tip kind of goes hand in hand with the first tip, but it is start your day with a good serving of protein. And the reason why I give this tip is because having about 20 to 30 grams of protein with your first meal will help you put a good dent in your target so that you aren't playing catch up later on. And this will also help keep your blood sugar balanced so you are having less cravings and you're not as hungry. So for example, as you guys saw in today's video, and if you guys watch my other What I Eat In A Day videos, then you know that I always have a scoop of protein with all of my, either I'm having a smoothie shake or a smoothie bowl. So today, for example, I had 20 grams of protein in my smoothie bowl. Okay, so the next tip is honestly the best tip that has helped me incorporate more protein into my diet. These aren't in any specific order. I totally forgot to mention this, but the next tip is utilize quick to go options. So when I first started my fitness journey, I always thought that 
when you have to incorporate more protein, I thought you had to incorporate more meat, which means cooking more meat. And obviously that can take so much time, but I didn't realize how much stuff is out there that are so quick and easy to just grab and go. So some examples include obviously the most popular, the protein shake. I can make a whole video on this, but protein shakes are not necessary in your fitness journey but again they are just for convenience if you're trying to hit your protein macros for the day so definitely recommend protein powders or protein shakes but another one is the protein bars my top two favorite is built bar and another bar that i'm actually going to be showing in today's video which literally tastes like candy so continue watching if you want to see that another option is like canned fish or canned tuna um, there is canned meat as well, so those are very quick and easy to just grab and go and make a meal out of that. Another idea is deli meat, so turkey, ham, you literally can just plop it on a piece of bread and make a sandwich out of that. Um, some other ideas which are really one of my favorites is actually Greek yogurt and a lot of people don't realize that Greek yogurt is actually very very high in protein. Um, I personally love Oikos, I think it's called triple zero because it's like zero grams of sugar, zero grams of fat, zero grams of something else. But it's so yummy, and you can actually put protein powder and mix it with vanilla, and it tastes like a pudding. So that's a little hack as well. So those are some great examples of some quick and easy to go high protein options that you can incorporate into your diet. So the next tip is swap staples with options higher in protein. So again, I'm going to refer my other what I eat in a day video where I made this spicy shrimp pasta, which is actually one of Sean and I's favorite, favorite meals that I make. But instead of using just typical white flour spaghetti noodles, I actually swap that out for chickpea noodles, which are higher in protein. If you wanna pause or take a screenshot, here is a whole list of some other staples that you can swap out for more protein as well. So my last and final tip is to double up on protein at meals and snacks. So I know this sounds kind of hard, but it's actually very easy. And I kind of already mentioned some examples. So one example that I already mentioned is putting like chocolate protein powder in a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt, which will taste like pudding. Another example that I mentioned is the chickpea pasta, which I added shrimp to that. Some other perfect examples on how you can double up your protein at meals without actually noticing that you're doing it is a sandwich. So you're having your deli meat and your cheese, which yes, cheese is high in protein. Another example is if you had tacos, so ground beef and black beans. So those are just perfect examples on how you can double up your protein without actually trying. So that is my top five favorite tips and hacks to incorporate more protein into your diet. I hope you guys took some good notes, but if you didn't, and if you do have Instagram, make sure you guys go follow me there because I will have a whole entire post on this as well. So make sure you guys go follow me at Kyla Beland, which is my first and last name so that you can save it as a post. But now let's get into the rest of the video. Alright, so it's lunchtime now and I made probably my favorite like quick 
high protein lunch ever. So I like to call these like the healthier version of McDonald's chicken wraps. So I'm not gonna open it, but as you guys saw, they're like these little chicken nuggets that are so freaking good. They are gluten-free, organic, and like some other stuff, but they are so, so good, fresh out of the air fryer. And you can actually get them from Costco. So I always keep those on hand at all times. And I have five of the nuggets in each wrap and together it's like 30 grams of protein and then these wraps are gluten-free wraps they are made out of quinoa and chia seeds which are higher in protein i think each wrap has four grams of protein so all together it's about 40 grams of protein which is really good for lunch and then i have some pomegranates do you say pomegranate or pomegranate seeds they're basically the same thing but i don't know um recently sean and i have been obsessed with eating these things and i used to buy like the little to-go containers from Publix, which are like six dollars yeah i wasted so much money on them and they're so tiny but for an extra few more dollars, I got a whole tray of four pomegranates at Costco for $10. And the only thing that I had to do was separate them myself, which was actually so satisfying and just so calming and relaxing. Like I literally did it in complete silence and just really enjoyed doing it. Sean came downstairs and was like, you're not even watching Netflix or listening to anything? And I was like, no, this is just so satisfying and relaxing. For four of them, I got a huge, huge glass container filled with them for literally only a couple more bucks compared to a tiny little container. Anyways, you can tell I'm a little salty about that. Okay, so it's time for a little snack. So I made a chai latte. I know I don't have a milk frother, so it's not like super professional. Is that it? Or aesthetic? I don't even know. I literally just added unsweetened vanilla almond milk with some sprinkled of coconut sugar to sweeten it a little bit. I've been obsessed with chai lattes. I just discovered it, I know, so surprising, um, just a couple weeks ago. My best friend Kirsten introduced me to it because I don't like coffee, but I love tea. But black tea does have a little bit of caffeine, which is perfect for that afternoon slump. So, so this is what I'm having. This is by the brand Tazo. Apparently, this is the same brand that Starbucks uses. Obviously, it's not going to be as sugar-filled and yummy as Starbucks, but it's close enough and it smells really yummy. And then I have my Vega protein bar. I have been obsessed with these things. If you watched my last What I Eat in a Day video, I mentioned this because these taste like a candy bar. These and Built Bars are probably my top favorite protein bars ever. This one has 11 grams of protein and... I don't know if this would have some protein, maybe the almond milk. Okay, dinner is served. Look how beautiful my bowl is compared to Sean's. <laughs> so I made Korean beef bowls um, with ground beef and pickled cucumbers and carrots. 
I will have the recipe for both um, on the description box or in the description box. Oh, and yes, we are having white rice. I know in my past what I eat in a day videos, we've been having brown rice, but for someone who is part Asian, white rice is literally like candy, so I need to have it. That's for anybody, honey. Oh, so we're gonna eat dinner and watch Selling Sunsets. I got Sean hooked on it. Do you like it, babe? It's the girliest show I've ever watched. But? I like the real estate. He likes the real estate, but you gotta admit, the drama is hilarious. I just laugh at these girls. <laughs> So I just finished making our dessert. I made a healthier version of a Reese's cup. So I used dark chocolate and then the middle is this PB2 peanut protein with Madagascar vanilla. Um, so it is peanutty flavor with like a hint of vanilla, which is so yummy. And that is in the middle. I made it into like a very thick paste, like what's in the normal Reese's cups. I didn't have enough for the last two, so that's why they're empty. But we're gonna do a little taste test with Sean. I actually made this in our old home and we both loved it very much. I did add a little bit too much chocolate last time, so I didn't do as much this time. So hopefully it's better. Um, but obviously dark chocolate is kind of rich compared to milk chocolate, but I definitely recommend this brand, Enjoy Life. I mentioned it in one of my other videos. This is their 100% real chocolate morsels. This is the dark chocolate like I mentioned, but it is free from like so many things. So it's very clean, I guess you could say. Um, please don't mind my chip nails. I actually have to paint them tonight because I'm going to a concert tomorrow with my mom. So they're free from 14 allergens. So they're free from wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, mustard, lupin, I think it cut off right there. Added sulfites, fish, shellfish, and crustaceans. And it is gluten-free. So I definitely recommend this brand. Um, I got this from my local Publix. I'm pretty sure they have it at Walmart too. I've seen it there before. But yeah, that is another way you can increase your protein intake is making yummy protein-filled desserts like this rather than just like buying them from the store because um, these are going to be way, way, way less sugar compared to the actual Reese's cup. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test. I actually, do you remember I made this in our old home? Oh yeah. Yeah, but I added too much chocolate that time, not this time. You ready? Here's yours. Here's mine. <laughs> it's dark chocolate, so it's richer. Be honest. What is your thought? It's really good. This is really good. Honest. It's very rich. Yeah, you can only have a couple at a time, but it's like really good. Look at that massive bruise on my knee. That is from rock climbing from weeks ago, and it's still there. Anyways, that is it for today's video. That is everything that I ate today to build and maintain muscle. Um, I did the math like very quickly in my head, and I did hit my like maintenance protein macros of the day. So depending on how I feel, I will have a protein shake, well, at least half a scoop before bed, which I typically do already on my rest days, which today is a rest day for me. But yeah, we are going to finish watch Selling the Sunset and eat our healthier dessert and then just relax for the night. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got something out of it. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. That is it, I'm done talking. I hope you guys have a beautiful day or beautiful night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.